about the reefers Green, white, green Are the colors of our land And here we come Waiting and obediently Bursting forth Our street and end up prophecies We drop the shoutings Singing of your glory We drop the shoutings Singing of your glory From the north, south, east and west of Nigeria From the north and south to the most high We're shouting great Oh, praise to Nigeria To our fatherland Leaders, oh, grace, 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 grace,
great people of Nigeria and Africa, in the beginning we were all living in peace. When Nigeria was born in 1960, the whole world and the entire Africa rejoiced and great things were spoken of her. But in the twinkle of an eye, sadness came. Pains, lootings, killings, bombings and kidnappings everywhere. But right now, we are all receiving the grace to stand, to rebuild and to fulfill the Nigerian dream. So let love, hope, equity and peace reign. It's time to finish this building. It's time for fulfillment. It's time for Nigeria to rise again. It's time for Africa Renaissance. Come on, let's hear the sounds of healing and celebration. Father God in heaven, we bless your name. We thank you for having you as our Father. We thank you for whom you are. We thank you for the love you have for us. Father, we thank you for the people that are here, that you are using them to show concern, to care for others. Father, you have brought them here safely. Lord, we say thank you. Lord, we have gathered before you, and we believe you are here for us. You will lead us through in all we are going to do here in Jesus' name. Amen. Father God in heaven, you that lead them to come to us, to show this care, Father, you will, you will bless them abundantly in Jesus' name. Amen. We pray that all that Satan has planned against our meeting, we can see it in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, as we continue, continue with us. Thank you for answering our prayer. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I R K. Um, I don't suppose to be the answer again because I have to show my appreciation, but nevertheless. Uh, on behalf of the Educational Authority of the Tafa Local Government Area of Niger State and the good people of Garam, the school management, both PTA and SBMC, the community leaders, I wish to express my profound gratitude to this creator on whom we all depend on. Yet another season of happiness has greatness been. The future is not something that happened, but it's something that you happen. It is stuff that can help you go to top. Can secure your future. The management wish to express the rough hair kind gesture in uplift, uh, uplifting the educational standard of education to the life of those children, community, local government council, state, and the 
Nigerian at large. Your contribution of educational materials such as I will not say 10 people because it's more than 10 people now. Desk, school uniforms, and others. It's a seed to greatness, and I issue the group that that will be used so that people who will lead the world tomorrow never stop learning. They will recognize that learning is a lifelong process. The secret of sources are in those items or materials, and I hope you will never regret donating those materials to the leaders of the world. And to the people, study is hard work. There is no shortcut. Rough help, Rohef group have planted a good seed. Therefore, let's make use of it. Once again, I thank you very much for your thinking globally and acting locally to our favor. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. People of uh, Ghana, mm -hmm. I deal with students too because I'm a mother. When I say great central primary school Ghana, you answer me great. People, do you understand? Yes. Great central primary school Ghana. Yes. When I say are you good to go, say good to go, good to go, good to go. When I say are you motivated, say motivated, motivated, motivated. Are you good to go? Good to go, good to go, good to go. Are you motivated? Motivated, motivated, motivated. Yes. We thank God Almighty for people like this. If we have people like this <coughs> all around the world, we will not have people like Boko around, true or false. True. They say when well, we educate a woman, I said the other day, we educate a nation. Mm. But we educate a man, just a single person. I'm proud to be a woman. I always tell my husband, well, if we are the Kanetti, I'll still be a woman. Women, great women! Great! Yes. Women are great. I'm proud to say that. Thank you to Ray of All Empowerment Foundation and Egwa. Excellent yes. grace for women and children. God will replenish your pocket in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm short of words because I look at the one I heard of this thing. I'm not part of them. I'm just a supporter club. Follow, follow. <laughs> People desire that children, our children, should not be wayward. Please, mothers, brothers, fathers and mothers that are here, don't think that they are millionaires. They scratch themselves to bring this to touch people's life. This is not religion matter. This is not cultural matter. We are not talking of different diversity here. Touching life, you too can touch life. When you see a child supposed to be in school, you as a father, as a mother, caution that child, what are you doing at home? Don't leave the job for the headmaster and the teachers alone. It's more than that. We need to do teamwork, spirit work, one mind, because these are our leaders, future leaders. And if you are 20 future leaders, you have to be a role model. I will tell people, if you are a teacher, teach well. I'm proud to say I'm a teacher anywhere. Please, children, parents, put your hands together for these people sitting. They hope for their families. Let's go put that together. Now, your pocket is not wrong. You have to be a new mother. I have nothing to give. I have nothing to say. The God of honor will honor you. You will not know shame. Your family will not know shame. Your children will not know shame. When you call on God Almighty, we answer for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Children, please, don't abuse this beautiful thing they are giving to you. Because they cough it out. Don't abuse it. If I come here next, I say that you tell your book. If 40 leaves, give it to you. I can't, it's not to 40 leaves. I can flow very well, though. If you break your pencil, you are in trouble. You must appear in it so that when next time we come, we see everybody. Even the headmaster will be, he will, in fact, he will be happy to welcome us. But if you just throw it here and there because you don't value, tear your uniform, you are in trouble. Do you understand? And in your clothes there, most of our Christians keep praying for them that God will replenish you. My God will replenish you, man, in the mighty name of Jesus. If we have people like this in the even only body here, 
Our children will not just bad guys. They will not smoke. They will not just cut. We need people to touch this in life. They are coming up. Not that a child be hawking here and there. Where a child is supposed to be in school. If you fall foot in the mighty name of Jesus, your effort will not be in vain. Thank you very much. Children, are we good to go? Good to go. Are we motivated? Motivated, motivated, motivated. Great, great, so uh, on behalf of the Garam community, we want to say the Lord God who has brought you here, the Lord God who has given you that heart, the Lord God who has cultivated the matter into your heart to help others, the Lord God also will help you in Jesus' name. Amen. Whosoever honor God, God also will honor him. And so, Father, we are praying that the seed you have sown in this land, it will be water. And it will bear fruit. And at the time you will come back to this community, there is going to be a great change. And you will never regret coming to this community. We are praying for all of you. We are praying for the country. We are praying for the connecting heart that are joining hand with you to assist old what is happening today. That the Lord God will not dry their pot in the mighty name of Jesus. And so we don't have much to say than God bless you. And then at the time of your returning back to your destination, our prayer is that God, who brought you here successfully, will take you back successfully and then give you more vision and more uh, focus concerning the children, the less privileged in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for you coming. Thank for all everybody that is here. We, uh, on behalf of the community, saying, we are grateful and thankful to all the gestures. You will not regret what you have done. May the Lord God bless you. Thank you. I would like to first of all introduce myself. My name is Christabel Silva John. I am, by the grace of God, uh, the National Coordinator of Real of Hope Empowerment Foundation, an organization that is founded to touch the lives of the less privileged children, women, and youth. There is something, I grew up from a home that I had everything I wanted as a grown-up child. I never struggled. But it became my heartbeat when I see all the children who are supposed to be in school are not in school. And I understand the importance of education in the love of every human being. That if you're not educated, you're like a car that, that is driving without a destination. You don't have any place you are riding at. Or a plane that does not have the wings to fly. But when you give a child education, you have given the child the best investment. That will, you always get a return. 
When we were growing up, my father used to tell us one thing. I may not have the whole world to give you, but I will give you something that no man can take away from you. If I give you money, somebody can take it. But if I give you knowledge, with that knowledge, you can be able to get the money you want in life. So children, I want to crave your indulgence that you become good citizens. Tomorrow you're going to lead this nation. Amongst you here, we have presidents of this country. Amongst you here, we have first ladies of this nation. You don't know where you're going to be tomorrow. Your destination does not end here. Tomorrow, one person can, after your education, they can appoint you to become, a, become an ambassador. And Ghana will be like, we are proud that one of our daughters, one of our sons, is representing us. And I pray that next time we're going to come back here, we will come back to meet children, bright children, intelligent children, children we're going to be proud of. Now, when I see you tomorrow, I'll be proud to say, I know this girl. I know this boy. And I want you to make a promise today to me and to Egwak that you're going to be good children. You will not be involved in drugs. You will not be involved in cultism. Because whatever you become today is for your own good, not for your parents. Today, I'm, I'm reaping what my parents invested in me. The only thing my parents, the only joy they get is that this is my daughter. I might not necessarily give them money. I can if I want. You can't save if you give them money is wrong. But the only pride that my parents get today is that we did not make a mistake in paying your tuition fees in school, in raising you up to become a good woman. My husband will look at me today and say, I'm proud to have you as my wife. My children will look at me and say, no, we want to have a mother like this woman. We want to be like our mother. If I was not a good woman, because first of all, if you want to live, you must start from your home.